Hello, so today I'm going to be doing something in our chem course, Science of Elements. And um, today I'm going to be talking about hydrogen. So, hydrogen. What is hydrogen? So, hydrogen, first of all, I'm going to go through some information here and then I'll and then I'll speak in detail about hydrogen. So, what is hydrogen's atomic number? So, what atomic number basically means, it means the number of protons in an atom. So, to do that, we need to understand how an atom looks like. So, let's look at what, um, what an atom looks like. So, let's say that's an atom. So, let's say that's a circle. And in the center, you will find um, any number of protons. In this case, it is hydrogen, and it has one, and that means it's the number of protons. That means there's one proton here. And then it can have nucleus. Uh, so let's say I have that many nucleuses. I don't really know how many. But, um, so we have nucleus, yes, and, uh, and I'm not sure if it varies, but that's how it is. And there's electrons in outermost shell, and that's one. So this, so this is like how it, the electrons like orbit. They pretty much orbit around the the center. So it would orbit around the center. And I'm gonna use my vanishing pen. So this is how it's gonna be. So this there's gonna be an electron here. It's gonna go here. So let me draw a actual electron. So this would be an electron. So this would be moving around it. And this is gonna be an atom. Okay, back to topic. So also uh there's something called atomic Oh, I'm sorry. There's something called atomic weight, and it's 1.0079, and that means the mass of an atom. Uh, it's like the atomic weight. It's the mass of an atom atomically, and the element symbol it's H. And what element symbol means is an it's basically an abbreviation for the element or chemical. And you can also see the melting point and the boiling point. So let's talk about hydrogen so before i start i'd also like to uh, give a shout out to all of you guys um looks like our channel has come to a good start start and we will start now so basically hydrogen is very similar to helium so the atomic number is one like it says so it was one of the first three elements it's like a it's the most abundant element in the universe and it was the first it was one of the first three elements so if you know one of the first three elements skip to the next six seconds and uh type it into the comments starting now and it's hydrogen helium and lithium so hope you if you skipped it you know it <laughs> Okay, anyways, so so that was created in the Big Bang, which was roughly 14 billion years ago. And because it combines easily with other elements, it formed part of every living thing on the planet. It's part of every living thing. Can you believe that? So what does hydrogen look like? So you wouldn't notice hydrogen under the thermometer hovered a few hundred degrees below zero. And if you look at hydrogen, you'd probably see that it's liquid. It's probably in the liquid state. And if you go a few degrees below that, still you'd find it frozen. And at normal temperatures, hydrogen is just a gas. It's just colorless, odorless, and you just see no sign of it there. Yeah, there's hydrogen, and you can't see it.
and you can't smell it either, which is weird. So when was hydrogen discovered? So a couple of scientists in the 16th and 17th centuries were really close to discovering hydrogen, meaning that they produced it but didn't realize they were observing a new element. So a Swiss scientist, I'm not even going to pronounce his name, uh, and a Irish chemist, Robert Boyle, both noticed something when they dropped metals into strong acids. So the bubbles that were produced would ignite if a flame touched them. So those bubbles that were produced would ignite. So it was an Englishman, Henry Cavendish, who recognized that these flammable bubbles were in fact a separate element together. So it was a separate element. So uh, I'm gonna explain what these actually were and you probably have guessed it so so he basically uh discovered that they were a separate element so he also noticed that dew soon to be identified as water they used to be called they used to call it dew not water it was not identified as water yet and was produced when the element burned and we know that it's because because the hydrogen uses oxygen in the air to burn. And one of the results is water, H2O, which is H2O. And Cavendish decided those bubbles were full of inflammable air. But that doesn't sound enough like an element. Because why would that sound like an element? It's just weird. <laughs> so it took the French scientist Antoine Lavoisier in 1783 to make up the name that stuck hydrogen meaning water producer so where is hydrogen used so hydrogen is everywhere everywhere and that's no 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 exaggeration so being the basis of all life is a good start hydrogen is an important part of the dna molecule which contains the genetic instructions for the growth and development of living organisms. So tying in hydrogen with oxygen produces water. And you know how much water there is on Earth. Yep, I can't even count how many gallons there would be. So there's plenty of that on Earth. So this list, like a list of, this list of, how should I explain this? This list of hydrogen applications could pretty much fill this whole video. It could fill a whole movie. It could fill everything. It could fill time. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's used in pretty much everything. Food production, fertilizers, electricity production, electronics, and even rocket fuel. So the lightness of hydrogen coupled with its low cost, so it's not that expensive, led engineers to fill huge airships called Zeppelins or blimps with it at the beginning of the 20th century. So I'm sure you've heard of blimps and I've seen a blimp before. So unfortunately, hydrogen's other important future flammability stopped that trend in that in its tracks so in 1937 the german airship the hindenburg exploded in dramatic fashion like it literally exploded in in a fashionable way uh and the place it uh exploded in was in, in new jersey which is a state close to new york uh in the united states in the United States and it killed 35 people that's how bad the explosion was and things might be looking up again for hydrogen's link with transportation though many people view it as a pollution free alternative to dry fossil fuels fuels such as gasoline diesel and maybe hydrogen powered cars will be, be common by the second half of the 21st century so if we can have hydrogen power cars, we could have it as a pollution free alternative.
instead of using those bad fossil fuels. So, as I said, helium and hydrogen are very close to each other, uh, very, they're like relatives, and the atomic number of helium is 2. So I'm not gonna really gonna I'm not gonna make another video on helium, but the, I'm just gonna do uh, um, hydrogen. And hydrogen's posi position on the top left corner of the periodic table tells us two things. So it's in the top left of the periodic table, and at the end of this video, I'll be sure to show you an image of the periodic table. So it tells us two things. First, we know that Hydrogen has one electron shell, electron shell, that's what it means to be in the top row or period. And being in the farthest left column or group tells us that hydrogen has just one electron in its shell. So that means the other elements in this color column, including lithium and potassium, have just one electron in their outside shell. So that's the thing but and this is a big 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 but those other elements try to gain or lose electrons so how this works is that they want to get eight electrons and that is when they're the most settled and stable so let's say they have six electrons let's say an element has six electrons so they'd find an element that can share or give away two electrons or let's say they have three then they'd get five so they the so chemists basically call this the octet rule so you remember in music you know what an octet is like in music it has eight members so yeah now let's look at the hydrogen or i'm sorry let's look at the periodic table Okay, so I got this uh, from the from the internet. So I got this um, periodic table. So as you see, here's helium, number one, or not here. I'm sorry, hydrogen, number one, and helium, number two. And now that I think about it, I might actually make a video. <laughs> I know I said this before that I'm not gonna, but now that I think about it, I'm gonna make a video on helium as well. And my plan is to make all of these elements, as many elements as I can at least. So these are a bunch of these unknown ones. So I'm not like an expert on the periodic table, but this is basically the elements here you can find. And here, you could, like, here, for example, here's oxygen, our favorite one. Huh. And our, yeah, here's a lot of them. And here's hydrogen and helium, like I already said. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, phosphorus, selenium. And these have a lot. And this chart little here, um... I'm assuming that this is the types. Alkali metal, alkaline earth, transition transition metal, basic metals, semi-metals, non-metals, halogens, uh, noble gas. I think noble gas is helium. And non-metals is hydrogen. Yeah. Uh, and lanthan lanthanides is this. And these are the act okay yeah that's that's the periodic table and yeah and I'm gonna probably send you the link for my slideshow here if you want to view that okay bye guys see you in the next video